What is up, guys? It is the Red Stone side just here. Welcome to the second episode of Say What? what? The series where I show you some yelling. really neat tricks you can do just by utilizing the vastly underrated language files in resource packs. If you want to know how to play around with the language files yourself, make sure to check out the description. Also, make sure to check out the first episode to hear more about this series and also uh, its predecessors. So anyway, let's get right into it. As you can tell from the title of the video and the intro, uh, I'm going to be showing you some ways just using the language files to check for resource packs in your map. So a lot of times it's really annoying when uh, people like on YouTube will start playing a map and they don't have the proper resource pack on, even though the sign told them that they have to use it. So how can we combat that? How can we make sure that no matter how oblivious the player is, they cannot move on unless they have the resource pack equipped? Well, there are a few ways and culminating in the best way, which is the one I showed at the intro, which I will show you how to do all of these. So let's start with this one. So. Uh, right now, I don't have the resource pack on, so if I press this button, it'll say, Equip the resource pack to see which door to take. One of them will kill you, one of them will let you start okay, the Okay, here's another option, is giving the player a piece of paper, and it'll say, Rename the paper to the secret code and drop it in the hopper. If I press this, it'll say, Equip the resource pack to see the code. I can't do it yet. So, uh, let's try, and you can see it didn't work. The light didn't turn on. And then this one over here, uh, if we press the button, it'll say, Equip the resource pack and press the button again to start the map. So... Uh, now let's equip the resource pack, and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so here is the Say What resource pack, and I am equipping it, pressing Done, and here we are. So you can see it still says the same thing. Let's clear the chat here, and let's press this button again. Take the door on the right. So now I could take the door on the right. Congratulations, you followed instructions. Great, and I, oh, I get diamonds. Yeah, right. And then if I go the other way, oh, all right, either you don't have the resource pack on, or you're just being difficult. So that's obviously not foolproof, right? Like some of these other ones. This one is pretty foolproof, except uh, it's also extra work. You don't want to have the, the player to work hard for it. The advantage with the other one, oh, I also don't have any enchantment levels. Let's uh, do XP one level. Uh, yes, anyway, so we can go to here and the code it said was TRS rules one, two, I didn't come up with it. And if we throw that in there, the light will turn on and we can start our map. And finally, the one that I showed you at the beginning, we press the button, click here to begin the map. So we click there, look how exciting my map is! And that's that. So, uh, let's take a look at how this works. Before I do though, I just want to show you another neat application. This can be something that everyone can start including in their resource packs, which is, uh, this could be, I don't know where you would use this, I guess on a server maybe, where there are multiple resource packs, or um, there was a uh, Payday 2, the heist, uh, or pay, Payday 2 map from 1.7, I believe, maybe it was even 1.6, uh, required multiple resource packs for the map uh, because of the different locations. So if you have a map like that, which I don't recommend, but still, uh, you could put this sign there, and depending on what resource pack you have equipped, every time you press the button, it'll update with the name of your current resource pack, which is really cool. So you can see the name of this pack is, say, what? And we can change whatever the name is, uh, depending on the resource pack. So... Uh, this is actually using a trick that I knew about for a while, but I had never actually used in a command block myself until this video. And the person who came up with this, uh, or inspired me to do this, the name will be on screen. It was in the comments of the last video. Uh, but let's take a look at how it works. So this is using the translate feature of tell raw. So let's take a look here. All right, let's start with this one. So we've got tell raw, all right, at A, so whoever. Now, instead of using a regular text component, we're going to use the translate co uh, tag or component, whatever. So uh, I actually learned all about this from Skyliner W's Telraw compendium thing, which I will link to on screen in the description. So translate. We're going to translate the phrase, equip the resource pack to see which door to take. Now, what happens is I actually did not realize, normally you would use this with like, you would put in here the the thing on the left of the line on a language file, so like item.banner.pattern underscore name dot whatever, and it would translate that to whatever the resource pack is. But uh, what's nice about this is I didn't know you could actually put in custom lines. So the custom line name is equip the resource pack to see which door to take. Now the great thing about this is if the line is not found in the language file, it will just output the trans the text to translate as text. So if you don't have this custom language line, it'll just output, equip the resource pack to see which door to take. And then we have the with, and I'll show you why that's important in just a second. It says with the word right. So let's take a look at the language file, and I'll show you why that's significant. 
Okay, so here you can see our custom line. Equip the resource pack to see which door to take. And equals, so just like before, where we had like enchantment.level.1000 equals M, equals take the door on the, and then we have something that says percent %S. Now that is what's called a, what is that called? I don't remember what that's called. It's a token, I think it's called. Anyway, percent %S basically means that will be replaced with whatever you put in the with tag. Now you can have, it's interesting, you can use different tokens that will allow you to have multiple things. Here we've got, uh, when it says with right, it's going to do take the door on the, and then we replace the percent with whatever it says. So if we wrote right, it would be right. If we wrote left, it would be left. If we wrote middle, it would be middle, whatever. Um, so here's another example. Equip the resource pack to see the code equals the code is, and then we have another percent s, and in the with place, right, we have, um, in the with tag, we have uh, the code. So that way you can have multiple codes in the same map. Then, um, this is for the sign that says the name of the resource pack. Ordinarily, it would say not supported, right? Because not supported is what we want to see if the current resource pack does not have uh, the name line here. So it would say not supported, but if it is supported, it would say, say, what? And you can change this to say whatever you want, uh, depending on, you know, whatever. And then this is the thing that uh, makes that perfect seamless version work. Equip the resource pack and press the button again to start the map. Let's go back into the game and I'll show you why that's significant. So again, the only thing we're doing is, uh, when we do this translate, is just percent %s. So it's going to basically be, if the resource pack is on, we're going to get whatever is in the width. And if it's not, we're going to get the text to translate, which is equip the resource pack and press the button again to start the map. So let's take a look at what's in there. So we first got, you know, the different formatting stuff, color, underlined, and here we have width. Now, ordinarily, when we did width, it was just square brackets and quote, and in quotes, the text we wanted. So like right or left. But here, instead of that, we're actually going to use a compound, so curly brackets, with a text component. So we have click here to begin the map because the width tag, or list rather, supports text components and it supports JSON within it. So click here to begin the map. That actually has a click event with an action that says run command tp at p down 10 blocks. So basically what we're doing is we're saying if we have the resource pack on, then display what's in this width. And what's in that width is a click event that's teleporting us down. If we don't have the resource pack on, the player will never get to see what's in that width tag. So that's how this all works. So one of the really cool things about this, this could be used for so many different things. This uh, it's something I had no idea you could do, which is custom lines in the language file. So, yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. Now, uh, again, there are different tokens other than percent %s that we won't go over in this video. I just wanted to show you this basic thing. Commands that I used will be in the description. Uh, but yeah, I think that's just about all I have time for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, or better yet, hit that subscribe button. Or even better, share it with your friends. Uh, make sure to check out the jam-packed description for more science. I will see you next time. And of course... Thanks for watching.